Welcome to Hold the Line. It's time to keep it Jesus all day, every day, and day. Rooted to the tutor, Frisco to Maine. Take it on back to Spain that is worldwide. It's time to glorify God's name. Please consider subscribing to this channel, man. Please, please consider that, y'all. I'm trying to get my subscriber count up to a 1,000 people. We made a big push at the end of last year. Now my subscribers have it has slowed down. So if you're into the biblical Jesus, what the Bible says, holding man accountable to what Scripture tells us to, this is the channel for you, man. Hit that subscribe button. If not, leave your little hateful comment and keep on pushing. It went down last night. You know, I was blessed and I don't have to work today. So I was able to stay up a little late last night. And I'm just going through Facebook. I was sitting around. And what did I scroll up on? Uh, Seiko Woods had put that um, Brandon Tatum is getting owned on, on Instagram live. So I went ahead and I opened my Instagram account up because I haven't been on that thing in some months. And we got to... Uh, he was getting served up. I don't know who the gentleman's name is. The first one, I followed him. I just looked on my Instagram. I couldn't find him. But, dude, this guy was sharp. But what ended up happening was it was just a back and forth. Tatum will not back down from his position. He understands that controversy sells. Controversy brings viewership. There's like 700 people in the room. But uh, he's not going to back down from his stupid position. And let me tell you something, Jack. If you are... Are, 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 are against the Trinity, that's a basic core doctrine. You know, I make a lot of videos about spiritual gifts and stuff that I don't agree with. I'm more on the reform side of things. And and there's certain stuff that we can, once saved, always saved, we can disagree on certain things. But when it comes to that Trinity, it's my opinion that if you don't get the Trinity right, you won't get salvation right, Jack. And that, that, that's just, that's Bible right there. You got to see how the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. Genesis 1, 26. Let's make man in our image. Who 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 are they talking to? That's the Trinity, right? In fact, the, the, the Spirit hovered over. I mean, you just see it time and time again. And as you study Scripture, because I think a lot, what's going on today is a lot of Christians don't know how to share the gospel. I was guilty of that a few years ago. And they don't know what, how to really defend the Trinity. The Father, the Son, the Spirit. The three and one, the one and three. Three distinct Different persons, same will, different functions. Same nature, different functions. They all work together. It's God, man. It is God. It's, it, it, it is amazing. You know, uh, you see my book right here, Forgotten Trinity, James White. I would challenge you to pick this up and read that thing. Ingest it. Get into scripture if, if you're being challenged by the Trinity because we must be able to defend because the, basically, the, the Muslims are going to attack the Trinity. The Jehovah, Jehovah's Witnesses are going to attack the Trinity. So we have to be ready for an answer when these folks come. We got to be ready. We got to be on guard. I think in Peter, he tells us, we got to be ready with an answer. So, so, so you're called to do this, man, to really know your faith and defend your faith at the same time. But Tatum got served up. So then he goes off. He's like, oh, I'm about to get off of live. And I, so I clicked off. I said, let me go back and see if I can rewind because I heard that Ruslan was on there with him or whatever that dude's name is, the dude that makes five videos a day. and He's making a big push right now. No disrespect to him. But anyway, uh, dude, they had a guy come on. He brought, and I thought he was going to be a pro. Uh, I, Tatum doesn't even know what he is. Let's just be let's just be clear. He's got Jehovah Witnesses mixed with well, one is Pentecostalism. And it just, it gets weird. It gets weird with him. He's talking about angels in Genesis one twenty six. That's Jehovah Witness stuff. I mean, there, it just it, it, it gets weird with the dude, and he's really making himself out. He's very prideful. He says, "I'm not a rookie at this." Oh, um, uh, what do you mean? Made a great video that that dug into him. But I would like to see him do it, do an official debate. But anyway, Tatum is a talking head man, and uh, his God, who he really worships, Trump, he don't fail. There ain't no more Trump to worship for four years. So you give him a couple years, he'll be back on the Trump train if that's if if Trump runs again or whatever like that. But that's who his God was. That's what he's made his living. That's what he's made his following. He's been to the White House. The dude is he's he's a mainstream talking head now. And now he wants to get into the theological biblical arena and that's an arena that i like to be, be be involved in man i'm all about theology all the time so the second guy comes on so i'm like i, I hear his voice i'm like 
man, I, I know that voice from somewhere, man. Like, where do I know that voice? And when I'm at work, I listen to podcasts all day. I do, uh, I do you version app in the morning for a couple hours. I'll get into some theology. I, 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 I get some preaching under me, and I'll go on to a podcast in the afternoon. And I, so I hear this guy's voice, and it was the dude from uh, Theology Matters. Um, his name is Austin R. Griffin. If you're on, you're on uh, Instagram, go ahead and follow him. But also, you can go to Apple I, uh, Podcasts or, 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 and Spotify, I'm pretty sure. And Theology Matters, it's a great, it's a great podcast. Because theology does matter, man. There's certain core doctrines that we have to get right. We can disagree on certain things, but there's certain things we can't be disagreeing on. And one of them is the Trinity, the Father, the Son, the Spirit, baby. That's what makes us who we are, man. That's what makes us Christians. At the end of the day. So so I don't know where Brandon Tatum's theology is, my friend, or or, or, or what he's he's getting, but what he's doing is, you know, I watch a lot of debates, and you know, a lot of times you feed off of a debate and you learn something things from the debate, how to rebuttal somebody when they're against something. And what Tatum's doing is regurgitating what he's heard people debate about. I can tell he watched the debate. With I forgot the guy James White debated the Trinity against, but he watched the debate. I've watched the debate, and he's using the same rebuttals as that guy. So, so is his move truly trying to come to an understanding, or is is his move to send people to hell? Because that's what he's going to do at the end of the day. Because in my humble opinion, if you deny the Trinity, Jack, you deny salvation. Hold the line. Woo.